Hey guys, let me show you how to set up Omnisphere multi-patches within Logic Pro. Uh, there's a new feature here that I really enjoy. When you go to add a track, you can directly navigate to the plugin you want. And it'll save you a step. So Omnisphere multi-output, boom. Oh, multi-timbral, eight parts, please. And you'll see they're all listed here in our mix window with the letter X and it opens up this mixer you'll see the plus and that'll unpack all those different parts so there you go um, when you open the instrument uh, you select multi and if you saved any patches if you kind of create some sounds you can save them under save multi and then they're, they can be found under Again, hit multi, directory, user, and this is where you can find them. Um, here's one I set up that has the routing um, that I typically want. You'll see that it provides sequential outputs and then all input from channel one. So that, that means I just arm this track and all of them should, should get data. You can see they all are getting data here. Um, if you want something like a drum kit uh, as a multi, that's a, this is a little off topic, but similar, just using multi in general, if you have a, a multi setup, you're going to need sequential input as well. As I see, you want to program a kick drum, then program a snare. You'd have to set up sequential input as well uh, and before it's going to work correctly. Then you could have uh, the kick drum playing here and then the snare drum playing here etc etc uh, but in general I usually want to make these huge lush or uh, powerful leads that have four or more uh, parts to them um, so all, all you have to do once you initialize and have the, the routing that you want and let me see if I changed something here looks like we're all okay um, you just go browsing I hit or maybe you missed that. I hit this default button, boom, and we'll just hit shuffle for fun. Grab the top one. You'll see in this browser, we can go to the next part. We don't have to close this window and do all that. We just hit the next part that we want to find a sound for. Double click. It's loading up. Boom, 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 boom. Must be a large one. And you would do that for as many parts as you want. All right. And then <clears throat> if the input is all from channel one and this is armed, then it will play all of them. Uh, if the input is channel two, then you would have to go arm this one before you would get that sound. So it's pretty easy to <clears throat> get them all armed. Um, so I, I'm probably going to make a new multi with sequential input now that I've kind of wrapped my brain around how this all this MIDI channel stuff is, is working um, that might be a little more useful uh, but what I like about the way I do it is all I, I just need to record one line of MIDI here and it plays all eight parts if I have eight parts and it's a little less um, you know consuming of space here in the screen and, and everything all right well I hope that's helpful um, if you guys have questions, comments, feel free to leave them and please check out my other videos and I'll see you guys next time on Creative Audio Production. Uh, I should be following up quickly with um, an interesting way to design patches in Omnisphere that I haven't seen anybody talk about, but it's, I've been having a lot of fun with it. All right, I'll see you.